Hello everyone, I'm your story guide and today I'm going to tell you a story that I wrote and it's titled The Walking Trees. Once upon a time in India, in a village there were only two trees left and one night there was a huge storm. The land in the village was quite sandy. So the next morning, villagers, they spent the whole morning cleaning their houses. As a ritual, all the villagers with the head of the village would gather in the afternoon under those trees and play cards. So that day, they did the same. Just when they were walking towards the trees and they reached the corner of the street, their jaws dropped, their eyes were wide open. They couldn't believe what they were seeing. The trees were not there anymore. All they could see were holes in the sand. Everyone in a shock started coming up with their own theories as to what happened to the trees. I think the thieves from the neighbor village, they took them, said one. Don't be a lunatic. How can a thief possibly dig them out and then carry them? Everyone was coming up with strange stories, but the head of the village stood there in silence. He was worried and his worries, they became a reality. Three seasons passed and there was no rain in the village. They were going through a drought and then they were hit by a famine. A famine so bad that they couldn't survive it. They had to rely on the head of the village. The head of the village was supplying them with the grains from his food bank. And a season passed, no rain, no crop. So his bank, it dried up. He gathered all the villagers and made an announcement. I won't be able to feed you all anymore. And we're gonna have to leave this village. The soil of this village can give us no longer what we need. We have to go from one village to another in search of food and shelter. We're gonna be nomads now. Following the lead of their head, the villagers, they became nomads. They'd go from one village to another in search of food and shelter. No village would host them for more than two seasons. They just couldn't afford to. No one had enough food for 50 nomads. So it was a ritual for them now to go from one village to another after every two seasons. Two years passed by and they had become nomads. They got used to living in the tents and being on the road. Once they were moving from one village to another and they saw a huge farm. For as far as they could see, there were only trees. Trees that had all kinds of fruits. Any fruit that you could think of. Bananas, mangoes, guavas, papayas, everything. The head of the nomads, he had an idea. He reached out to the owner of the farm and proposed, or rather requested, Dear sir, if you let us live here at your farm, we'll work for free. The owner of the farm, he was a generous and a kind man. He agreed. He saw no problem in that, but only on one condition. I'll allow you to live on my land, in my farm, only if you treat my trees with love and respect if you treat them like they are your own. It was a condition that they were more than happy to accept. So two weeks passed by and they were living on the farm happily. They had plenty of fruits, plenty of shade. Shade that they had not seen for many years. And suddenly one afternoon, someone started screaming, these trees are from our village. They are our trees. The guy kept screaming and the head of the nomads and the other nomads, they all gathered around. What nonsense are you spitting out? Dear sir, these trees there are trees. The head of the nomads couldn't believe him. What are you talking about? How could they have traveled hundreds of miles away from our village to this farm? And the guy, he pointed to the tree stem and showed him. You see there? It's my name. I engraved it there. It's written Johnny there. It's my name. You know that. It is the same tree. I'm telling you, these two trees are from our village. And before they could settle down the argument, the owner of the farm arrived there. And just before he could say something, the tree spoke. 
You greedy villagers have reached this farm. Don't you have shame? We left you because you were no good to us. Everyone there stood in silence. Their jaws again dropped. A tree was talking. In fear, they stepped back. You cut all our fellow trees so that you could grow more crops and make more profits. And look at you. Where are you now? On the roads, you are nomads. And by this time, the nomads had their heads hanging in shame. Their head, he was on his knees, begging to the tree. Dear tree, please forgive us. Please tell us, how can we correct our mistake? For them, it wasn't just the voice of the tree that they were listening to now. It was the voice of the god. Listening to the head of the nomad, the second tree spoke up. You will be forgiven if you do the following. Take a seed of each tree that you see in this farm. Go back to your lands, plow them with hard work, sow the seeds, and then pray for the rain. If it rains, you'd be forgiven, and your land will again be fertile, and you'll again have abundance. Now go back to your land. They did that. The nomads, they returned to their village, and they started plowing their land. It was hard work. The barren land was not easy to plow, but they did. They worked for weeks to plow their land. They sprinkled the seeds and prayed for days for rain. And one night, it rained. They sang and danced that night. And a couple of days later, finally, the seeds they sprouted. The head of the village, he decided that day that he was going to change the name of the village from his name. And from that day, they renamed the village to the village of the walking trees. Now that's the story for today. Please tell me in the comments, how did you like it? What did you learn from it? And I'll be back next Friday with a new story. Don't forget to subscribe and press that bell icon so that you can get the notification. I'll see you soon.